Throughout 2019, we're following the history of the F1 World Championship, and today we're focusing on seven decades of Formula One safety. When the World Championship began, cars were designed purely for speed, and with inefficient drum brakes, they had less stopping power than horsepower. Van Wall were among the first to introduce disc brakes in the late 1950s. The 1960s brought rollover bars and the first fireproof suits. Jackie Stewart was wearing a full-face helmet by the end of the decade and was soon followed by safety-conscious drivers throughout the grid. In the 1970s, a spate of bad accidents spurred a determined safety campaign. Improved seat belts, safety walls and crash barriers followed. Stewart himself was instrumental in making medical centers and rescue training mandatory. Into the 1980s and one of the biggest developments in driver safety saw John Barnard introduce the carbon fibre monocoque in the McLaren MP4. John Watson would prove its value beyond all doubt. I did the big crash test, Monza 81, spun across the track, went backwards into the barrier, it pulled the engine, the gearbox off the car. John Barnard was responsible for a car that provided me with a safe environment in which to have a major accident. Professor Sid Watkins transformed F1 safety after the deaths of Roland Ratzenberger and Ayrton Senna in 1994. Crash tests were improved and the protection around the driver's head reinforced. In 1998, wheels were attached to the car by tethers to prevent separation. Circuits were remodeled to improve safety further. Silverstone's Stow Corner runoff was changed to asphalt in 2003 and the infamous Nürburgring tamed the same year. New tracks in Bahrain and Shanghai would set even higher standards in circuit safety. The latest solution to F1 safety, though, is the Halo, introduced for the 2018 season to protect drivers' heads from flying debris. It's divided opinion throughout the paddock. The Halo protects the area of the driver that's been exposed since open formula cars became available. We've raised the headrest sides and we've done other things to protect them, but I think it protects one of the more vulnerable areas. There's been all sorts of developments which aren't necessarily as obvious as the halo. The car's getting stronger and more tolerant of different styles of impact. The cars are evolving in terms of their safety, it never stands still.